I approached George once. No way. Uh, yeah, we were in a press room. And so I was in the room with him for like two hours. Oh, my God. And I had, you know, he came down the line and each individual press guy got to talk to him. And I noticed as soon as anyone started talking to him on that line, there's a guy standing behind Lucas, like pointing at his watch, you know, speed it up. Right. Speed it up. Yeah. Like, Holy shit. When it comes to me, I'm just going to like start crying or something. I'm not the pressure is too great, but I was able to spit out a couple questions and even joke around with him a little bit because he thought my recording device looked like a taser gun. A taser gun? He's, he's, he's like, I don't know, it looks like a taser. Really? I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I go, I go this. I'm like, I don't know, it's just it's just my recording yeah. device, George. I would never tase you and yeah. I go like this. Zap. And then you, yeah. I don't have a spot for you in my trunk. What are you talking about? Uh wait. Zap. I'm like you know, then all of a sudden the next thing you know, I'm pinned on the floor yeah. looking at the ceiling. Oh. Security guards are all over me. But it didn't go that way. But so he's in this room and so Watch he went through the security for. line and he talked to the make a wish kid. And then he was off. He's talking to uh, Melody Hobson, his old lady. And then he was just standing there. And I'm like, he's five feet away from me. I got my fucking microphone. And he, there's George Lucas right there. So I went up to him. Damn. And I was like, so, George, you keep coming back to Star Wars time and time again. What, what keeps you motivated? What keeps you interested? He just looks at me kind of like, gives me a side eye. <laughs> he goes, because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I got chills. I'm like, that's the George Lucas. I the stories. Right there. Right fucking there. 